Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese drama land in the past week and today we have way too much stuff to run through. So I'm gonna be very minimalist with my subtitling because Tencent would not. <laughs> Last week it was a little bit more on the IGE side of things and this week basically it feels like the penguin is declaring I'm the richest kid on the block and I'm gonna show you how much stuff I have on hand. First, as usual, let's talk about dramas that will air very soon. As this video goes out on Saturday, June the 25th, a contemporary drama should have already gone live called Guan Yu Tang Yi Sheng de Yi Qie. English title, Dr. Tang. As you can tell, it happens in a hospital. It's a medical drama. Let's hope it works out. It's led by Qin Lan, Wei Daxun, Huang Jue, Gao Lu. In terms of the casting and the specific actors, I have confidence in their ability. But scripts, wait till we see what it's like. And then obviously the medical procedures on camera. Uh, that's always the tricky part, really, for this type of drama, whether it's within China or anywhere in this world. But particularly China is very bad at doing medical dramas. We shall see if this drama can provide us with any improvement. Then, a couple of days after that, at the very end of this month, 29th, the long-awaited, I think for a lot of my audiences, contemporary drama led by Zhao Liying and Luo Jing is gonna go live on both Youku, on web, and then Beijing Television, Satellite TV, Xingfu Dao Wan Jia, the story of Xingfu. Do I need to tell you what this story is about? Probably not, hey? It's been talked about for too long. But finally, it's here, hey? 2022, end of June. And this is a very Xianshizhuyi type of work, which is totally focused on real life, not fantasy, not period. And it's actually based on a very, very old, not very old, but still quite old film and story. Let's see the new version of the 21st century version of this story and how well it's gonna play out. Then, although this drama hasn't officially announced exactly when it's gonna come out, but it's pretty straightforwardly now promoted as the drama that's gonna follow Meng Hua Lu, A Dream of Splendor. So once Dream of Splendor officially ends, this drama comes in, which means early July, it's gonna happen. Xin Han Tan Lan, Love Like a Galaxy, the pair drama led by Wu Lei and Zhao Lu Si, they've put out two more trailers this week, I think. Like I said, it would be stupid for Tencent not to do that, because this probably is the card on their hand that kind of can get most people in to subscribe, or if they've subscribed due to Meng Hua Lu, they're gonna keep subscribing for another month. If I were Tencent, I definitely would do that. So, as long as a meteor doesn't come and hit Earth, you're gonna see a drama after Meng Hua Lu. Then let's talk about a couple of other dramas that are at different stages of production that have announced where they are. First, there's a drama that has officially announced of its team makeup. It hasn't started shooting yet. They're scheduling for September, so quite a few months down the line. Zhuo Zhuo Feng Liu, period idol, sweet spoil drama. <laughs> That's how they classify it. It's gonna start shooting in September and it's led by Jing Tian and Feng Shaofeng. I mean, it's not so surprising that they pair. This is a period romantic love story between a Wang Ye and a woman who is very good at acting. <laughs> And that's how you would call the setup. Feng Xiaofeng has raised his ranks further. Previously in story of Ming Lan, he's a Marquis. Now he's a prince marrying Jin Tian. And it's probably gonna be a lot of domestic, fun, comedy kind of drama. And then there's a drama that has just started shooting. <laughs> and it's called Zuo Zi De Guang. So Chicken Soup, this title. And the English title is also very accurate translation, Be Your Own Light contemporary drama and it's gonna be led by Liu Tao and Liu Yuning. Another pairing <laughs> I never pictured in my head. I hope Liu Yuning in contemporary drama is gonna work out better than him in period drama. Usually it's an easier job if you're in a contemporary drama, so let's see how well it's gonna work out. Also there's a drama that's gonna start shooting very soon uh, and it's called Huan Yan, English title Fearless Blood. And this drama, looking at the casting, hmm. I will definitely put it on my shortlist. And it's Tencent drama, reason being it's led by Liao Fan and Dong Zijian. Two sort of super indie movie type of actors who are like destined for international awards if they stick in this industry long enough. And it's a Mingguo setting drama. I don't need to know more. And just because it's these two guys, I'm gonna definitely keep an eye out for it. And since it's in Tencent's hand, usually it has a more fierce way of promoting. Then say if it ends up in Ai Qi's hand or Yoku's hand. 
Yoku particularly bad at doing that. Okay, so these are the individual items I've looked at. Then let's get to the part where why I say this video is gonna have very minimum subtitles because Tencent would nuts. Tencent during this week has promoted at least 20 dramas together. Let me count them, okay? And I'll count about half of the number of dramas they've promoted during this week. The next half, they're not gonna show them all together at once. Don't worry, okay? We have future <laughs> to talk about them, probably. So I'm gonna start, call out the row of dramas. Wu Jian, contemporary drama, Inferno Affairs, pretty much copied from the uh, Hong Kong movie back in the early 2000s, led by Jing Dong, Wang Li Kun, Qian Fu Zhe, another espionage drama, Ming Guo time setting, we've talked about this multiple times, led by Huang Xiaoming and Jiang Xin, the infiltrator, pretty much the twin or the sister drama of The Rebel last year that was led by Zhu Yilong and Tong Yao. Then Huang Xiaoming also has another drama, <laughs> yeah, promoted at the same time by Tencent. Tencent just has way too much stuff on their hands, okay? It's a business war contemporary drama called Mei Gui Zhi Zhan. And the English title is very accurate, Rose War. And it's gonna be led by him, Huang Xiaoming, and also Yuan Quan, and also Yu Fei Hong. Mmm, okay, cool. Then, also contemporary drama a lot of people have been waiting for. This week, they have released a first trailer. Gong Su, Jing Yin, Prosecution Elite. And you know who leads it? Yeah, Dili Reba and Tong Da Wei. Mm -hmm. The prosecution drama that's helmed by the Prosecution Bureau of China, a proper serious contemporary drama. Then also the drama that we've talked about many times now, Xi Chu Yimen, that is still being filmed, West Out of Yu Yimen. Uh, new posters showing you what the characters look like in this drama. Yu Gu Yao, Xiao Zhan Renmin, that's been going on for a long time since last year. Fantasy drama, another teacher and student love fantasy drama. Longest Promise, that's the English title, that's also been promoted. Then Senti, Three Body, that's like the only sci-fi drama and probably not just this year, like for a long time to come. Only serious sci-fi one, that's led by Wang Ziwen, Zhang Lu Yi, Chen Jin, quite a few other very well-known people. The States is making another version on their own. Let's see which one can win. In terms of acting and casting and actually getting the Chinese vibe right, definitely Chinese version. But in terms of like CG, I don't know <laughs> who can win out. Because how do you actually represent something that you cannot represent efficiently in three-dimensional space world? on screen. They released a new trailer and it looks 10 miles better than the first one, but also I've heard that it gone back to re-edit after the first round of censorship it didn't go through, so don't know when, but I really want to see it. We haven't finished, let's keep going. Changxiang Si, the one that's being filmed right now, not gonna finish filming until end of August at least. Yang Zi Let, another fantasy period drama where she's the main lead with many guys. <laughs> That's a classic Tencent thing. They put a proper first poster out. Love you forever. So this one also promoted itself or Tencent promoted it. Then Kunlun Shengong, a lot of the uh, fans of Candle in Tombs, mm, you have something to look forward to. Kunlun Tomb, it's still the cast of Pan Yuanming and Zhang Yuqi. This time it's Kunlun Tomb, so it's not the uh, spider place where I totally couldn't watch because I hate bugs. Then Zhui Guangzhe, Light Chaser Rescue, contemporary drama. I've also talked about this one before. Luo Yunxi and Wu Qian, and title is pretty self-explanatory. It's about rescuers. A lot of people definitely are very looking forward to this because Luo Yunxi and Wu Qian, they <laughs> played the young version of um, Zhong Hanliang and Tang Yan in He Yi Sheng Xiaomo. And a lot of people loved the university version of those two characters back then. So now they're properly in the drama as the leads. Also, Xian Jian. Yeah, the remake of Xian Jian, the Chinese paladin, now is called Paladin Legend. Does not matter, it comes from the game. It used to be Hu Ge, Liu Yifei, and An Yixuan, early 2000s. That made a huge impact. It kind of started the whole genre of Xianxia. So the remake of it also promoted itself. This time it's with He Yu, Yang Yu, Tong Xu, Hao, Li Chuan, Hu Yixuan. Hu Yixuan is playing Anu and Li Chuan I think is playing the uh, the Shu Sheng character. Anyway, I 
actually am more interested in these two not lead but kind of supporting leads of this drama, Li Chuan. I've said in my previous uh, reviews of other dramas that I really, really like him, and Hui Xuan, I also like her very much. So, in the future, when this drama comes out, whenever that is, I probably wouldn't really pay that much attention to Li Xiaoyao or Zhao Lingar. I would actually pay a lot of attention to these two. Then, there is a drama I haven't heard before at all, and they're pretty much ready for it. And I can't wait to see it. This is a period drama made by Tencent called Fan Cheng Zhi Xia, English title Ripe. It's a criminal investigation kind of crime period drama. Exciting. And the reason it makes me excited is it's led by Ning Li and Bai Yufan. <laughs> Just because it's these two guys. Okay, it's type of excitement that I have with the uh, previously talked about Huan Yan, Fearless Blood, Liao Fan, and Dong Zijian. Get the vibe? Like it's almost the same kind of structure of actors, older, younger, but both are very good and both are probably really suited for independent movie. Now I've gone through that many dramas, so promotion news, Tencent showing off how rich it is, it's less than half I think of what they've talked about. And I don't have forever for weekly videos, I do have to think about finishing editing, putting subtitles on before tomorrow comes. So I'm gonna just cap it here, but there are more. I wonder after all the dramas air right on this list, however that long that's gonna take, how many percentage wise is gonna in any sense achieve a level of okay this drama did it. Personally like I said, the two dramas I look forward to most are the sci-fi three body because it's the one and only one, you don't have another sci-fi. The other one is the uh, pair drama that has Bai Yifan and Ning Li together. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. There was one day when all this news came out and I had to save them and categorize them so that I can remember to talk about them. <laughs> that one day my hands was like twitching, the muscle literally was, what? One, one more, one more, one more, one more. How many more do you have? You know, Tencent is the Chi name of Dramaland. I have like 12 businesses, 13 businesses. I am in control of the capital. Monopoly. Okay, definitely renting too much. That would be the end of this video. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.